What's up, Rejag Nation? I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We're gonna watch uh, not Thor Love and Thunder trailer. That's the one everyone's looking forward to. The Jojo Rabbit trailer. Let's go check this out. Taika Waititi's latest film. Barely know anything about it. I heard a rumor he plays Hitler. That's about it. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> weird. It's Taika Waititi. Yeah, it should be weird. Got that right. offbeat, quirky sensibility. Yeah, that's the that's the way he does. This will definitely be met with some controversy. If you don't understand satire in any way, shape, or form, I would imagine, but this communicates is pretty broad and pretty silly to me. So unless you love Hitler, I can't imagine you'll be too offended. <laughs> I feel like it'll be met with some controversy, especially just with Taika Waititi portraying Hitler to this degree. I'm not upset watching it. I don't feel like there's anything controversial that's necessarily represented here. You know how the internet tends to be. And sometimes the subject matter is just that sensitive for people. How dare they not cast a German to play Hitler? I know, right? So the the plot described here is a young boy in Hitler's army finds out his mother is hiding a Jewish girl in their home. The boys obviously German, right? Yeah, and from what and I then, understand, he wants to be a part of Hitler's ranks. Like, yes. He's very much into the Nazi thing. And his mother is Scarlett Johansson, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And they are hiding uh, a Jewish girl. See, that's like a very real plot. <laughs> like, that's a real thing. I feel like making a comedy out of that can, can that's where I feel like people can get, ups like, you know, like yeah. are we allowed to treat this with a comedic approach to it, you know? Yeah, I mean, from, from what I've heard him say about it, I feel like the heart's gonna be in the right place because he keeps describing this as an anti-hate satire. With that in mind, that perfectly reads to me from this trailer. But yeah, I can definitely see a, a, some people being like, oh, this is nothing that should ever be trivialized and that's the tricky thing about satire is that you know mm. it's not always trivial it's just that the use of humor may be too much for some people i think it'll be fine i think though. it'll be f i mean the cast is amazing here it's still weird seeing taiko att playing hitler <laughs> yeah and it's such his like you know affable friendly way yeah <laughs> you know, like bringing a little bit of that korg or that you know what we do in the shadows to it oh yeah this is taiko att doing doing hitler. his thing yeah it's yeah. exactly that yeah yeah. Uh, you know, the, yeah, the cast does sound exciting to have in here. I mean, the, it was just like quick glimpses. This is a one minute tease. I feel like there's an official trailer that should be coming out pretty soon. I've seen the star studded cast. You know, you got Sam Rockwell in here. You got yeah. Scarlett Johansson in here. Rebel he, Wilson and Steven Merchant, too. And, right. and especially for Rebel Wilson, I'm kind of excited to see her hopefully maybe do a different kind of comedic role. <laughs> under the direction of somebody like Taika Waititi. What? No, man, she has to be overweight. That's yeah, the that's character. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's, that's the character. That's the only joke, yeah. She's overweight. Uh-huh. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Overweight, funny. You know what we gotta get is her and Melissa McCarthy in a comedy where they team up to be overweight and bumbling trapped and nothing else together. In a together. room, eating hamburgers. Yeah. Oh. And just ad-libbing the entire just time. just gain more weight over the course of yeah. 90 minutes. And then we're all like, how funny is it this that is they are, they're, so they're, you know, funny. plus size women. To be fair, Melissa funny. McCarthy does a little bit more branching out. Yeah, she than, has, she has. <laughs> yeah. So leave her out of the conversation. Yes. Well, hey, you know, to Rebels Got Cats coming out. John, we don't want to make fun of <laughs> overweight people who make fun of themselves consistently for being overweight. Yeah. So, <laughs> back to the, this movie. It kind of has a bit, I don't know if this is just because of the whole Boy Scout thing, Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom, or, or even within the Taika Waititi catalog, you've got Hunt for the Wilder People, yeah. which has a scout 
angle on it, it too. It does seem to have a, a little bit of Wes Anderson meets Taika Waititi kind of vibe. And there's something I feel like that comes up in his work a decent amount, or at least his personal work, and maybe I'm just going off a couple of movies, but you know, about like boyhood and coming of age and father figures and things like that. Because also from what I understand here, I, I don't know if Hitler will make an appearance. I assume he probably would as the actual Hitler, but from what I understand in this trailer, at least, this is his sort of imaginary friend version of Hitler, yeah, yeah. who he looks up to. Kind of like a father figure of sorts. Yeah. I think that's fine and all, but if real Hitler shows up, that's when they got to double down on the comedy. Oh, totally, yeah. They got to make it can make even hilarious. Just make him, like, slip on banana peels at every turn. I'm just saying, imaginary Hitler, that's a funny idea, whatever. Real Hitler, now that's where comedy gold is at. That's right. Like World War Two was so funny, was so funny the whole time. Literally the other night, it was Saturday night, and I was like, "Let's just unwind, babe. Put on Schindler's List." Oh yeah, grab our copy of Mein Kampf. I uh, I specifically did an editing project and color corrected the whole thing. Oh good, <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah yeah. So funny. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Uh, Black and white, it's pretty dramatic, but in color, oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a great, yeah, what a See, vivid I, storytelling I take back experience. everything I said at the beginning of this video. This is a great idea. Like a YT, <laughs> you, you have found the funny that I have seen forever. All right, guys, are you excited for uh, JoJo number nine? And leave a comment down below. Uh, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Please click that notification bell. Show us some love by giving us some love. And before we wrap this up, patron of the day shout out to a man named Jake Stewart. Jay Stu. So, <coughs> that's your shout out. <laughs> a couple months ago, he was messaging me saying that he, he had a new girlfriend. <gasps> now it's been a few months he's been dating her, he had a new girlfriend, and he is, uh, he, she'd never seen the MCU film, so he was uh, watching the whole thing with her, binging it. And then I haven't heard back from him in a while. Uh, it, like, literally two months ago, I replied to him, he replied to me last week, and he says, sorry for the radio silence. Start a new job and didn't realize my payment went through and reset. I think he's only still here because he forgot to take his card off file. And now he feels bad because he saw your messages and he's like, ah, I gotta do at least a month, you know? Well, I appreciate that. If all of our patrons can stay pledged out of guilt, I'm okay with that, you know? So Jake, if you're the top contender for like guilt leader, mm -hmm. please hold the mantle. You're doing a great job, buddy. I hope your girlfriend enjoyed the MCU films. And uh, I hope she likes Hitler.